You're here. I sort of assumed that you didn't make it home very often. So, uh, how are the travels going? Anything exciting happen lately? Your stories might be just the inspiration I need. <laughs> this one is for the books. A lot of people avoid chatting with me whenever they can help it because they don't like what I have to say. The truth is, I just prefer it when people can cut to the chase and be straight with one another. The amount of effort some people put into beating around the bush and being diplomatic? Ugh. It'd be so much quicker to just hash it out and be done with it. What about you? What's your preferred communication style? Hmm, oh, excellent. That'll save us a lot of trouble. I remember one time when I saw a customer hesitating between two different colored outfits. I told her that she should pick the cream colored one, since it went well with her hair and also accentuated her figure. She turned her nose up at that and said that the stains would show up more on the cream one than the gray one. <laughs> so, I said, sure thing. If you're set on the gray one, I can make some adjustments so it'll look more stylish. But she didn't like that idea either, and she started saying that maybe the gray was a bit too dull. We went back and forth like that for a whole afternoon. In the end, she picked a red one. I mean, I do understand where she was coming from. Her concerns were valid, it's just... People like that, they need to learn to prioritize between criteria when they're making a decision. If you want something that goes with your figure, pick the cream. If you want to get away with a few smudges and stains, pick the gray. But if what you really want is to stand out from the crowd so your crush will spot you as soon as you arrive at the party, then for goodness sake, just tell me that as soon as you walk through my door. I'm getting all worked up just thinking about it. I need a moment to calm down. You're right. She was hesitant about telling me, but if she had just been direct with me, we could have saved so much time, and then I would have been able to do a better job of tailoring her outfit to suit her needs. Things like that happen all the time. It makes me all the more determined to never beat around the bush and always be upfront and direct. Sure, it might not have been the smartest approach, but for me at least, it's definitely the most efficient. All this is to say that I will never hide my true thoughts and feelings from you. And I'd like it if you could do the same for me. Of course, if you ever find yourself compelled to say something like, Chiria Boutique's outfits are hideous, then I'd hope you at least follow it up with some sort of reasoned argument that I can consider. You don't seem like the type of person who'd say something just to be provocative. Unless, I don't know. You secretly enjoy the feeling of being thrown out my front door or something. What about you? What's your preferred communication style? Ugh, you do? Well, I just find it a headache. Maybe it's because I always have a clear and firm opinion on things. My feelings are never ambiguous. Either I like something, or I don't. <laughs> 